All right, guys, so we're back in my garage, and this week on the B58 Digest, we have a couple more topics to talk about, so let's go ahead and hop right into it. So the first topic for today is a new quarter mile record for the A90 Supra, and this is something that we actually haven't had an update for in a little while. I think a lot of the cars set some pretty crazy records back during TX2K, and then over the summer we've seen some incremental improvements over that time, and now we have another bump up. So the latest record was set by Norris over at P-Tuned, and he ran his Super at the World Cup Finals, the import versus domestic race, as hosted by Haltech, and he ran an impressive 8.53, and so you can see the time right here, it's at 162 miles an hour, and the car was just flying that weekend. So this was actually set during qualifying, um, he said it was during day one, um, so it's really crazy how a lot of these cars kind of roll off of trailer and just run a really crazy time and that's exactly what happened here now he also had his draggy going at the same time so you can see his 60 to 130 time was a 3.68 which is ridiculously fast faster than any bmw with the b58 engine for sure but again these guys are very dedicated to racing they're running a full drag race setup on a prepped strip so it allows them to put a lot more power down and of course they do a lot of testing at multiple tracks around the country so it's a super impressive time you can see the conditions were also really good with that negative da so perfect opportunity to set some new records now as far as the setup on the car um, like i said it's fully prepped for the track it's stripped out with race seats so a lot of weight reduction it also has an extremely powerful kit it's running their p-tuned top mount turbo kit with a zona rotor turbo I'm not sure how much power it's making, but it says that the kit is capable of a thousand horsepower, so it's probably up around there. For all of the recent times that I've seen, he also posts that he's not using nitrous, so I'm assuming that that's the case here as well. He has set some impressive times with just boost only, so this being, you know, a couple tenths of a second faster than his previous record, I would say it probably doesn't have any nitrous on top of it. It also has kind of a unique engine setup so the engine is built but it also has a stroker kit so it's actually a 3.2 liter engine not just the regular 3 liter b58 so with their crank it has a little more displacement again to help with that turbo to help it spool up and make a lot more power so i think this is extremely impressive you know they're very closely tied with Payne that does a lot of tuning on ecutech for a lot of the fastest supras so he has two cars that actually have similar kits and are running similar times. They're kind of going back and forth with the records. So right now, his car is a little bit faster than that one that's actually driven by Payne. But um, yeah, I mean, they have similar setups and it's friendly competition for those two. So I would definitely check out their social media to keep up with them. They also have another shop car that they're building up that's going to be completely built from the ground up for drag racing. It's going to have a TH400 transmission as well as a lot of other unique weight reduction features and things like that. So check that out on their page. They're gonna be building that up through winter. I don't think we'll be seeing a lot of updates as far as you know quarter mile records this winter, but coming up in the spring, I'd definitely look out for some new times being set at TX2K. So that's definitely something to look forward to. Now for our next update, we're gonna start talking about some parts that have been released for the B58. So the first one I wanna talk about is this new Nitrous Express direct port setup that's designed for the CSF intake manifold. So this was actually a partnership between both brands and they released the kit at SEMA this past weekend. So it's pretty cool to see that there's a plug and play kit for port injected nitrous. This is just like any other supplemental fuel that you wanna to add to your car. So whether you're spraying you know, race gas or ethanol or methanol, you always wanna spray it at the port. That'll give you the most supply as well as the safest setup. And so even with nitrous, having a port injected kit like this is really nice to have. It'll give you a lot of cooling for the cylinders as well as a lot of additional fuel. So being set up specifically for the CSF manifold, I see this being a nice option for, again, anybody that wants to run nitrous with that manifold. It just makes it really simple and easy to install. Now, as of now, we don't actually have pricing that I've seen. Like I said, they just kind of did the official release at SEMA this past weekend. So... Again, you can keep up with the social media for CSF and for Nitrous Express so that hopefully they will be releasing that pricing soon. 
as of now, they said that it's something that you can simply call in and order if you really want it. So for anybody that's interested in that, give them a shout and they'll be able to hook you up. Now, the last thing that we're going to talk about is a new Dynan tuning option. And Dynan has been, you know, a pretty big name in the BMW tuning world for a very long time. And now they have something that is giving them a big jump uh, to keep up with the competition. So they're offering a new handheld unit and it looks pretty similar to kind of like an access port where basically it's something that you can mount up in your car, plug into your OBD port and flash maps. It also has logging capabilities and basically can show a lot of different gauges and things like that. So pretty similar to, you know, MHD, boot mode, all of the major tuning platforms that we use for the P58. But this is its own handheld unit instead of requiring you to use an app on your phone and syncing that up to Wi-Fi. So it's kind of nice from that aspect, and I think a lot of people are interested in it because it's a pretty simple setup that you can completely separate from your phone. You don't have to constantly run gauges and disconnect your Wi-Fi to have that set up on your phone, you know, while you're driving around. However, it is a little more expensive than the other tuning platforms on our car, which I think is pretty expected. It also doesn't quite have all of the same options as far as tuning. So what I see is basically a stage one tune that's designed for a stock car for a couple different fuels. They have one for 91 octane, 93 octane, and race gas. I don't see any ethanol maps, so that's pretty unfortunate. And it also doesn't have anything as far as like a stage two for a downpipe or any kind of fuel pump upgrades. So it's a little more conservative in that aspect just because, again, Dynan is set up to just be more of a modest tune for our cars. But, you know, a lot of people still really trust the brand and want to go with an option like Dynan. So this gives you the opportunity to be able to flash the maps yourself. You know, you don't need to go to an authorized dealer or anything to get it flashed and just makes it a lot more convenient for the end user. Now, they also mentioned that this isn't VIN locked, so that means that this is probably something that you should be able to resell. So if you buy one brand new, flash it on your car and drive it for a while, when you're done with it, you can always sell it to somebody else for you know a pretty fair price and get some of your money back. So that's pretty nice. But the only downside is because you're not getting it flashed at an authorized dealer, it does not come with their normal warranty. So their tunes already always voided the warranty, but what they did was add a supplemental dining warranty on top of that. And if anything happened because of the tune, they would cover any repairs. With this kit, they said there's too much liability because you might flash the wrong map for the fuel you're running or have some issue that's caused by you that prevents the car from flashing properly, potentially damaging something. So in this case, they are not going to cover or warranty anything dealing with the tune. So that's pretty much the biggest downside, I would say, because most people are paying extra money for a dine and tune because they see it as a safe option with a warranty. And in this case, if you want to keep the warranty, then you need to stick with the dine and plus option or one of their flashes that comes from their authorized dealers. Now, I've also seen some people asking if this is something that can be flashed on cars with locked DMEs. And that is not the case. It's basically going to be the same kind of flash that you would get from any of the other tuning platforms. So again, the only difference here is that it has kind of a handheld unit that allows you to do logging and monitoring. You can read and clear OBD codes and things like that. So nothing revolutionary from the flashing standpoint, just the fact that you can do all of the flashing yourself at home. So again, this was something that they did a lot of promotion on at SEMA. If you're curious, they have a lot of posts on their social media as well as on their website to give you even more details about this flash tuning option. So check that out if that's something that you're interested in. And I'll also post a link down in the description so that you can check that out for more information. So yeah, that's all we have for this week. Again, thanks everybody for watching. I hope this video helps you out. And if you have any other questions or comments or any other topic ideas that you want me to discuss, leave them down below. Do 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 do